Huh. Thing is, is what's going on today is it's amazing. You know, a lot of people don't understand the times that we're in and really what's happening. And they don't understand that these signs and symbols that the Lord has given us is showing us exactly which era we're getting ready to go into. I've told people this before and I've said it over and over. We're going into the last Jubilee. Saying that, the Lord is getting ready to gather his children. And not only that, he's ready to shake this earth up a lot more. Now, when we see the Iranians, um, what they did in Israel, that was pretty much a precursor of things that are getting ready to come upon the earth. The Iranians did something that was totally different. Now, what you're seeing in the media is not quite what really happened. They'll tell you that there was no real uh, strikes, that it was 99% miss. Well, let me explain something to you. They hit exactly what they wanted to hit. Their missiles, what they do is when they go out, they go out and what they do is they draw in the Iron Dome's missiles. Once they come in and they almost hit them, all of a sudden, another missile inside that missile will deploy, and it hits at a hypersonic rate. So saying that, they were able to take out a military base over there. So these people know that they probably couldn't win a war. So my thing is, is why would they be trying, and this is the question, why would they be trying to still get into and say that they're going to go in and hit Iran? I'm going to tell you why. It's simple. Remember when we were in Egypt, our people. And when we were leaving Egypt, we had to leave in haste. Now, there was 10 plagues that hit Egypt. And these 10 plagues that hit Egypt were all in, so that the Lord could show his power through his children and show that he was fighting for them. So when he gave the 10 plagues, it was to scare the Egyptians so they could let us go. And so he put those plagues on them. Now, saying that, when the Lord put those plagues on them, he did something. When these people, or when anyone sees that, you know what, I see the flies, I see the darkness, I see the, the rivers turning blood red, I see all of this, just like we're seeing on the earth right now, with the tornadoes, the earthquakes, the eclipse, and all these things that are going on. Uh, and we haven't seen anything yet compared to what's getting ready to happen. Saying that, the Lord did something. He used Mastifa, Beelzebub, Satan, or the adversary. He used him to go harden the Pharaoh's heart. Why? because he needed the Pharaoh to come after us so he could destroy their armies, so he could show his power. This is what he's doing right now in that land. He's put in these people's hearts. He's hardened their hearts. And this is why people can't say, I can't figure out why they're gonna go and try to attack Iran. Well, he's hardened their hearts so that they can go in. And what they'll do is once they start sending off their little missiles and they think they're gonna do something, they're gonna find out that they're gonna be hit from all four sides. The Lord is doing this to show his power and his might. To show that those people who took the children's identity in 720, that these people have to be eradicated out of that land. That land was taken in 70 AD. Saying that, that land has to be returned back to the people once it's cleared out. The Lord says that that land would also be returning back to Judah. Not just that land, but all the lands that have been taken will be turned back to Israel. So we have to understand what is really going on around us and you know, and how important it is to see the times that we're in. What's going to play out next is simply this. You have Russia, Iran, and China. You have these three nations. You also got the Africans coming. And I've been saying this over and over again. And everybody was sitting around here scared and worried about three days of darkness. And it's going to be dark and people putting plastic bags up. And they're not understanding that is not what scripture means. But because you unlearn it, you don't understand. And since you don't understand, you're around here doing things, you understand, because you're doing them out of fear. You see, when you start walking in the light, when you start following the Lord's words, when you start really reading these scriptures, you'll learn something. In Ezekiel chapter 34, the Lord said he is going to gather his children from the four corners of the earth. And when he gathers these children, as Deuteronomy 7, 6, these children who he's given all of the laws to, he's going to gather them, and then he's going to do something else. When you read Zephaniah, um, it's Zephaniah, and I've said this before, chapter 2, um, I believe it's 1 through 4, 1 through 4, it talks about how the Ga Gaza, Palestine, all these places are going to be wiped out. He's telling us in these scriptures for a reason. So when we see these things come on the earth, we know exactly who's doing it, why he's doing it, and who he's doing it for. He says in that passage he's doing it because these people sold the children of Israel to the Greeks and the Grecians. And so these areas have to be taken out. These people cannot stand. And saying that, my heart goes out to 
people who lose their loved ones, they lose their children, and all of this. But I do understand that this is biblical prophecy playing out at a record rate. So your three days of darkness, as I told you, that was physical. That was Old Testament. Now, I want you guys to understand, and gals understand something. You cannot take away the Old Testament, and then you cannot say, I don't do the New Testament. The Old Testament was carnal. It was showing things in a carnal side. That's why the Old Testament, there was literally three days of darkness. The three days of darkness today is the three days or 3,000 years with no law, no Torah, no light of the Torah. And so that means that our people for a long time have not had laws. And since we haven't had laws, guess what's happened? We've all perished for it. We've lost millions of people because our people went away from the Lord, started serving gods of wood and stone. Well, the Lord is getting ready to do something. In the next few days, I do believe that there's going to be some strikes. And these strikes are going to bring in what I call war, war, the what we call the Battle of Armageddon. Why would I say that? Well, that eclipse, anytime we've had an eclipse like that, there's always been a war. And so saying that, the war that is getting ready to happen now is a great battle of Armageddon. And this is when he says that um, the land of Ashdod, which is in Israel, these lands, you understand, will be eradicated because there's bastards there. And so these lands have got to be cleared out. Not only that, get this, a lot of people are going through spiritual battles right now, and they can't figure out why. Well, on the day of the eclipse, you got to remember in Tennessee and also in Texas, they have CERN machines, also in Switzerland. And then they turn these machines on, so there's a lot of demonic entities that have been released on the earth. If you don't know how to call on Yeshua, if you don't know how to call on Yahuwah, who are Lord of all spirits, you will be privy to these demons and these spirits. Now, a lot of people are opening their mouth and say, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahuwah. But when you're dealing with demons, I want you to understand something. You must say this. You must say, I rebuke you in the name of Yeshua. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Yahuwah. Rebuke the demons. Don't just call on their names without rebuking them. Once you rebuke these demons, they must flee. They have no choice. This is going to be in the physical realm, and this is also in the spiritual realm where you have dreams or you have visions, and sometimes you feel like you got something holding you down. These are demonic spirits, you understand, and if you do not know how to deal with them, they will take control. You see, spiritual people know these things, and the thing is is that a lot of people are reading this word, but they have no understanding, no comprehension. Why? The Lord says that this is a called out assembly. A lot of people right now are being called, you understand? But guess what? They're not coming to the assembly. They're not coming to the assembly simply because they know the truth, but there's no truth in them. And right now, the Lord wants those people who are truly seeking him, but have a lot of truth in them. You know, I have young ladies who had their alternative life, young men who tried their alternative lives, and all of a sudden they're telling me that the Holy Spirit is convicting them to walk right and to do right. And they are so embarrassed at the way they used to be. So I'm hearing a lot of great testimonies. I'm hearing a lot of people who deal with demonic forces and entities and they called on Yeshua. They called on Yahuwah and they rebuked them in the name of, their, of, of the one who created them. And that's what's important. You see, calling on Jesus right now, I'm telling you right now, is not gonna help you no bit because everybody knows his true name. His true name is Yahuwah. That's Elohim, or you call God. Um, Yeshua's name is, means Yah saves. He's come to save his people. So when you learn these things, you got to understand that he's coming back soon, but he wants those people who have faith, those who have understanding, those who have come into the light. So when you guys see these earthquakes that are about to happen, when you see these um, tornadoes that are stepping up, when you see these hurricanes that are stepped up, know that this is the Lord's bidding. This is him saying, you know, I'm here. Not only am I here, but I'm getting ready to gather my children from the four corners of the earth to from the outermost parts that have been scattered through slavery. And not only them, but the handmaids and servants I'm going to gather too. So it's time to get your spirits right. This is not time to play around. You know, what do, what do you worry about man who can kill the body? But you need to worry about the one who killed the body and the flesh. And this is important. And so I want to just give a message this morning telling everyone that you need to get your faith up. Your faith comes by hearing, hearing from the word. We really need to get this word in us. This war that's about to happen, when they go ahead and strike Iran, just know this. Just know this. Once that happens, the battle of Armageddon is on, and then our deliverance is near. So while they're afraid, we rejoice. All praise to the Most High.